Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at a teacher guide to PowerPoint. In this video, what we're going to actually look at is the new features inside of PowerPoint that can help make our life a little bit easier and also add some real rich learning experiences for our students. So we'll look at things such as presenting live, which allows students to scan in a QR code of your presentation and then follow along at their own pace and also have translations. We'll also look at how we can include subtitles to our PowerPoints, how we can use things such as Dictate, and how we can insert 3D models into our PowerPoints to offer some rich learning for our students. We'll also look at things such as Slide Designer and how that can be used to create nice looking slides quickly and efficiently. And we'll also look at how we can include accessibility into our PowerPoints using the new accessibility checker and alt text for images. I hope you find this useful. The first thing to do is actually enable all of the features inside PowerPoint. So click File and then go down to Options. And in here you'll see a list of more options that you can have in PowerPoint. What we're going to look for is Customize Ribbon. Once you click this, make sure that the features you are looking for are enabled. And the one what we're going to be using a lot in this session is Recording. But if there is anything you see in my screens and what I am showing you today that's not enabled, have a look in here and make sure you can actually see that part of the ribbon. Now let's have a look at our first new feature which is reuse slides. So if you click this, what it will do is it will search your recommended PowerPoint files and you can also search your OneDrive and then you can actually use slides from your previous presentations. So here you can see I've just inserted a slide from another presentation that I've created and that's inserted straight away. So this is great for saving teachers time. Also use Dictate in Slides by choosing the Dictate option. And in here what you can do is you can press this and if you have a microphone installed it will actually do speech to text. Here you can see I'm using this in notes so this is great for saving teachers time or your own time while creating presentations. You can also do this in the main slide as well. The next thing is slide designer. So here you can see I've got some basic images and some text. I'm just going to click on design now and rather than use a theme I'm going to go to the right hand side and choose design ideas. What this will do is it will use artificial intelligence to resize images and also position them in a nice way for you. Again this is a great time saver for students and for teachers. Another example of this being used is for the intro. So here you'll see I've got a picture. I'm going to click Design Ideas and it makes some fantastic, nice opening slides using the pictures and the text that you have inserted. So this is a real simple way. Another top tip for teachers is 3D models. So here you'll see I've added a 3D model and I'm going to choose a heart in this example, but there's absolutely tons that you can look at. Once you click Insert, it will insert a 3D rendering of the one that you've chose, which is a great feature for students and for staff. You'll also see that you're able to rotate this around and actually have a look at the full 3D model. So this is a fantastic tool and it will also animate while you are presenting as well. You can also insert icons, which is a real nice way of making your slides look really good and also a very quick time saver rather than looking for images. So here you can see I'm looking at icons now. I'm just going to insert this picture of a world, for example, and I'll insert this in. Each icon you can customise, resize without losing quality. You can also check accessibility and in here this is a great way of making sure your slides are accessible but actually in a very easy and simple way. And you'll also be given prompts on how to make your slides more accessible. So here you can see I can right click, click add alt text and I can even generate a description if I need to. But this just ensures that your slides are accessible for everyone in a quick and simple way. You can also publish your PowerPoints to Stream. So here you can see I've clicked Publish Microsoft Stream and this will actually create a video. Another top feature is Screen Recording. So here you can see I've inserted Screen Recording and now I'm actually able to create a screen recording of any part of my desktop directly within PowerPoint. So this is a great free feature inside of PowerPoint that you can use to create tutorials for example. Once you click stop in that it will insert the video directly into your slides and you can play this. 
you can as well export this directly as a MP4, for example, so that they can be played on any kind of device. So right click, click Save Media As, and then you can save that presentation wherever you like. Another feature is inserting a screenshot. So here I'm gonna click Recording, choose Screenshot, and now what I can do is actually screen clip any part of my presentation, and this will go directly into the PowerPoint. It will also add automatic alt text for your image. So this is fantastic. Another thing you can do is actually click draw. And in here, what you are able to do is add various pens and draw on your slides. For example, here, I'm just gonna write hello. You can also draw whatever kind of things that you want and use the inbuilt features such as ink to text and ink replay to actually play these back and transform them. So here in this example, I'm just gonna select the text, hello, and turn this into actual direct text. So here I'm gonna click it, choose ink to text, and it will change that writing into typed text. You can also do this for shapes as well, and you can also do it for maths. Another great feature in PowerPoint is actually to insert a form. So for example, in recording, you're gonna click on forms, and then you'll see all of the forms that you have currently created, or you can actually create a new form or quiz. So this is great, for example, to create some questions or some feedback for your students. Here you'll see I'm just gonna insert my EdTech feedback form, and here you'll see that it actually fills the entire screen of the presentation, and then when you view the presentation, you can then fill this in. So the students could have this presentation at the end of a session, for example, and fill in feedback or a quiz based on how well they've learned things. The next feature to actually look at is in PowerPoint Online. So here you'll see I've gone to PowerPoint Online and loaded this up. And what we're gonna look at now is the presenter coach. So you'll click slideshow and then choose the one that says rehearse with coach. What this does, and it's great for both teachers and for students, is it actually uses artificial intelligence to train you on how well you are presenting that information. So the students, for example, could use this if they're improving their presenting skills, but also as a teacher or a presenter, you can actually use this tool to actually improve how you're delivering to students. You'll see at the right hand side some filters and some explanation about what you can do and it will give you little prompts as you are directing yourself through the presentation. When you end the presentation and you have completed, you'll be given a summary overview of how well that presentation has happened. So here you'll see a rehearsal report. You'll see things such as a summary, pace, your originality and your pitch, and also if you've used any filler words such as mmm. This is a great tool and I think going forward this will be really, really beneficial for both students and staff in improving their presentation skills. Another feature in PowerPoint is actually presenting live. So if you click slideshow and present live, what this does is it opens up a screen that can be used by students to scan in a QR code. So essentially all they do is they grab their mobile phones, they scan the QR code in or anyone who is watching the presentation and they can actually see the PowerPoint live. So let's have a look at how this can be used. Here you'll see my PowerPoint and actually the phone on the side. And as I am speaking, the students will be able to see a transcript of what I've said. So this is superb for accessibility. They'll also see your slides as well, so they can actually see it a little bit closer. And you'll also be able to translate various languages. What you'll also be able to do is students can put live reactions to your presentation. So you can ask, for example, if the students are understanding it. At the end of the presentation, it will also ask for some feedback. So you can actually then ask your people who are watching your presentation, your students, for example, to feed back on this PowerPoint. And you'll see things like slide design, speaker skill, content, and interaction with audience. So this is brilliant for exit cards. You can also use subtitles just by presenting. So on Slideshow, just click always use, always use subtitles. And then as you present, what this will do is it will provide subtitles. So this is great, for example, if you've got your students in the class and you've not got mobile phones, etc. At least you can still have subtitles on your PowerPoint. The final thing to know is also just remember that you can share your presentation rather than send it. 
So this resolves the issue of being able to have multiple copies of PowerPoints and it means you can work collaboratively on presentations with either students or fellow teachers. And you can even access this via Outlook. I hope you found this presentation useful. If you've got any more comments, please leave them in the comments box. And please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.